Welcome back to Coastal South Carolina. Those of you who are interested in hydroponics gardening. Um, last year I had an outdoor hydroponic garden. And this year I want to take you along with me in the setup of that garden and, and how uh, things grow and the problems that I found and um, just let you see how it's done. Uh, on a YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the Dutch buckets that I use. I probably have about 25 uh, buckets. I get uh, Sam's Club uh, icing buckets. Sam's will give them to you. They're square, probably about four gallon uh, buckets. But what I do is I drill a hole in it. I've already got a hole in this one. But uh, what I did was made up a jig using my one inch diameter hole saw and so I made a jig uh, that would cut a hole two inches up from the bottom of the bucket. That just allows you to uh, keep a uniformity in your Dutch buckets. Just place that on then would take my drill and go down through. Once you get your drill started uh, put it in reverse and cut down through in reverse. What that'll do is give you a real clean cut on your plastic so that your uh, seals will attach. I'll show you a close-up of this bucket, the size of the, uh, the particular seals. Uh, what they do is allow for your um, your PVC pipe to um, get through. And what I'm using is, uh, excuse me just a minute, and what I do is have something like, uh, like this in the bucket with a pipe. You have uh, probably about three inches or so of pipe. I really didn't measure it, but it goes through the seal on the inside. This allows for water to build up. It'll build all the way up to the top of your pipe before it starts draining. And it gives you about a, a two uh, to three inch reservoir in the bottom of your bucket in case uh, your pump stops. Uh, or, you know, you do something stupid yourself like I often do and um, my water's not running and it'll allow your plants to drink. The roots will fill up this bucket and allow them to drink. What you do is take the seal, it's got a, a groove on the middle and you work it into the hole so that it's got part of the seal uh, sealing on the outside and on the inside of your bucket. Then what you'll need to do is with your pipe, you're going to need to grind the end down. Just take the edge off so that you'll be able to fit it through. And this, this is the part that takes some work. Uh, might get mad and angry at it, um, but you just have to work it through. Now it looks like I did it very easily, but I've already done it once just to make sure that I could get it in. But I. I usually push my seal right up to the edge and you'll see this runs down to the pipe that runs back to my reservoir. You see about how it is on the inside. Then I'll take that angle, uh, 90 degree angle and point it down inside my bucket. And that's your Dutch bucket. That'll allow your water to fill up. It'll fill up right to that high in your bucket and uh, then begin to drain out. Keep your plants uh, real happy in it. So I just want to do that to let you know. Uh, actually, I probably cheated and some of y'all will say it's bad for the seals or whatever, but I just used some silicone spray on it to, uh, to allow it to go in a little bit easier. So, uh, you know, I'm no scientist. Uh, I'm just copying what a lot of other people have done, but I uh, hope you enjoy your hydroponic gardening and uh, you get as much fruit and pleasure from it as we did. May God bless you. Come on back and watch this summer as I go through the garden. I'll show you how it's done. Thank you.